So you're working on a project and your chamfer, your fillet is not working. First question I'm going to ask, how far are you from the model? If you try to make it far away, it tries to make a big one and your model does not have enough space to do it. So what you got to do is zoom in and that will solve 90% of your issues. In most cases, it will work and everything will be fine and you can move on to your next step. But we wouldn't be making a video if there were no exceptions, right? So let's go ahead and see how can we fix this problem if the fillet is simply not working. So we need to get that edge and we usually would use the sweep tool. But we do need an edge to sweep on, right? To make our sketch because it's really hard working on a circle. So this is obviously not a problem with squares. You could just put it on the edge and sweep it through the squares. But what we need to start with is cut our model in half. So you can use this in any way you want. I simply do a little sketch. I select the edges. I swipe down and that usually subtracts everything I don't need. Once we have a model that is ready to be worked on, we go ahead and select that face and we sketch our circle to make our fillet. So we go ahead and tang tangent those edges to the circle and we now have our fillet edge, as you can see. So what we need to do is sweep that across the circle and we have our fillet that we need to subtract. But let me show you a couple issues that come up. Sometimes if you select the wrong thing to su uh, subtract first, it's not going to work. It's going to delete the wrong thing. So make sure you delete, select the thing you want to subtract from, and then you select the thing you want to subtract. Also, another issue you run, in run into is that you have unwanted edges or artifacts in your model that you need to take care of. And the way to do that is you need to extrude your pieces. So let's say this offset so that it's bigger than the model you're subtracting of. You can either replace the face or you can just extrude it. I think this is faster. So we have a guaranteed subtract here. All right, so now we go ahead and subtract. We choose the thing from what to subtract and the item to subtract. Then we delete the unnecessary piece and we have our fillet. So basically now what we need to do is just mirror the piece since it's a duplicate. Uh, but let's first uh, subtract those sketches. We no longer need them. So we'll go ahead and mirror, select the face you want to mirror on, and then we simply union to connect the pieces back to normal. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more complex if your shapes are not identical. But anyways, let's move on. And now that we have a couple edges, usually if you select them, you're able to delete them. But in this case, it's not. So it's a little bit more complex, but you simply have to replace the face. Since those are identical, again, you select replace face tool. You select the face you want to copy, replace it, makes it the same face. Same thing on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try to delete that line and uh, we don't have that delete option so same thing just replace the face and this is just a little little pro tip that you can catch along the way um, just to make your models look a little bit cleaner make it a smooth edge and then we could just finish off our model by uh, finishing that last fillet and changing the color and if you learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll be making a ton more of these there's lots of problems that come up with this stuff obviously and i don't know if you guys have ever played with one of these it's a little rubber popper thing you you press it in and then it jumps up by itself and um, <laughs> i remember those from when i was a kid but anyways hope you guys had fun following along and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye